Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I'm Dawood Anyabwile, um, and I'm representing for Victory Stand graphic novel, graphic memoir. Um, we're all sharing uh, one passage. So forgive me, I don't have my glasses, so I have to use the backlight from my phone. OK. I raised my hands to the sky as I crossed the finish line. 19.83 seconds, another world record. At the age of 24, I became the first man to run the 200 meter race in under 30 seconds. Peter Norman took second place, the silver medal, and my teammate John Carlos took the bronze. John draped an arm across my shoulder. We, we congratulated each other like brothers but we knew that the time had come. Nothing was planned specifically. We had brief talks. We decided that we would follow each other's lead and at the same time express ourselves the way we wanted to as individuals. I guess you could call it planned spontaneity. When the time came, we would know what to do. We both took off our pumas to expose our black socks, which represented the impoverished children and families around the world and in every major city and crowded ghetto in America. John unzipped his jacket, which went against Olympic rules to represent the hardworking blue collar folks in America who struggled to make ends meet. He also wore a beaded necklace and I wore a black scarf with those two items, we were representing the innumerable black men in America who had been lynched. Our wives had bought a pair of black leather gloves earlier in the day. It was time. First, there was silence. And then the United States national anthem began to blare across the stadium over our heads, over the stands. John and I shared the pair of black leather gloves. He wore the left and I had on the right. I clenched that fist with the black glove so tight I could feel my knuckles pop and the tips of my nails pierce my palm. I held it up like a torch, defiant. There was no way I would place my hand over my heart and give honor to a flag for a country that did not honor me or people who looked like me. Under 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> I could hear the wind whoop around my forearm. My eyes were closed as the anthem played, and things went on in the background of my mind. I bowed my head again. I talked to God. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. 80 seconds, people. 80 seconds. That's how long we stood there as the anthem played. Those fists in the air were dedicated to everyone at home back in the projects of Chicago, Oakland, and Detroit, to everyone in the boroughs of Queens and Brooklyn, to all of the brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers in Birmingham, Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, St. Louis, New Orleans, to everyone struggling, working their fingers to the bone on farms across this country called America, to everyone holding out hope that things will get better. That was for you, from John and me. We had to be seen because we were not being heard. No hate intended. 